This month is the vernal equinox and the first days of spring. And whether you have bulbs in full bloom in your yard or maybe you still have a lot of snow, it still can be really exhilarating and energizing. I get it, I understand, but don't forget, we have a lot to go, many weeks and months. So here is your March gardening checklist. It is time to sow head lettuces and onions inside. For head lettuces like romaine, surface sow three seeds to a cell and barely cover with soil or vermiculite. Onions can be over sown with many seeds to a cell and then separated out when they're about six inches tall and ready to be planted into the garden. Cover everything with a dome or plastic wrap until the seeds germinate and keep your seed trays damp but not soggy. As you prepare your garden beds for spring, make that job a little bit easier for yourself. When cutting back, consider using the chop and drop method. Just drop the cut material into the bed as a mulch layer. Not only does this help your soil by adding organic matter, but you also might end up with free plants from seeds too. However, you don't chop and drop noxious weeds like bindweed. Be sure to pull them out by the roots instead. If you have fruit trees, now is the time to make a plan for pruning. Pruning your trees before they leaf out allows you to consider the tree's structure and to make good decisions about the tree's shape. If nothing else, remove anything dead or diseased. Also, remove branches that are rubbing or crossing or growing so that they block the light to other parts of the tree. Good pruning keeps fruit trees healthier and more productive over the long term. If you haven't already, now is the time to sow sweet peas inside. Choose deeper pots like root trainers or even toilet paper rolls filled with a good seed starting mix and plant three seeds per pot. They don't need heat to germinate, just a sunny windowsill or even outside with cover from frost. And they'll be ready to plant out in six to eight weeks and will need something to climb up for the summer. Rhubarb is one of early summer's great delights and there are perennial varieties available now for zones three to seven. Perennial rhubarb is generally sold as bare root plants and can be planted as soon as your soil is workable. Give it plenty of space in the garden and don't harvest it until the second year to ensure hardy crops for years to come. For those of you in warmer climates, you can start rhubarb from seed in August and grow it as an annual over the winter so make a plan for that too. For many of us, tomatoes and peppers are the stars of our summer gardens and it's time to start them from seed. Both plants benefit from consistent heat for germination, so consider using a heat mat or if you have a radiator or radiant heat, place your seed trays on top until the seeds sprout. Once your seedlings have their second set of true leaves, feed them once per week with a liquid seaweed feed or organic liquid fertilizer. And that is your gardening checklist for March. Don't forget to like and subscribe and happy gardening.